Happy New Year, everyone! How y'all doing? It's 2024 now! And I had to click out of the window to make sure everything was working. But anyway, yeah! Um, so, we're here today to... I mean, there's going to be a little Galaga. Because why not? But the important thing we're here to talk about is, uh, plans for this year. And I'm kind of wondering why the lights aren't on in my arcade stick. The stick is working fine. Why isn't it... Ah, whatever. As long as it works, it's fine. I don't know why I'm putting it in some credits, but whatever. So anyway, what are we going to be doing this year? Well, <clears throat> that's what I'd like to uh, gauge you guys' opinion on, on some things. So, I've been looking at the numbers, and uh, it seems that there's not that many people interested in the LP that I did for Shining Force. But don't get me wrong, there's, there's people that watch it, but it seems to be probably the, the least popular thing I do. And while I had a lot of fun making it, and that's not necessarily going to start from doing LPs and stuff, but I kind of also want to focus on things that I can still have fun with, but people, like, actually want to see. And on that, on, uh, that note, I guess, I don't know, uh, with, with that in mind, I guess, um, it seems that the, stuff, the, the more random stuff I do is more popular, whether it's the, the... The Retro Showcase, you know, who knows what's going to show up on the next episode, you know, for people that are into that sort of thing, of, of seeing something different all the time. I know it's fun for me to do, like, random stuff all the time. Damn it! Um, like, those usually tend to do pretty okay. There's, there, there's, there's some games that people just don't care about, but then I'll get random spikes in videos where it's like, hey, this, this one got, you know, over 100 views, which, <laughs> I know, it sounds like fucking jack shit, and it, it is for most people, I guess, but for me, it's like, whoa, that's big. God damn it. <laughs> I couldn't thread the needle on that one, apparently. Um, talking does distract me. <laughs> but, uh, it, 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 it's easier to do those because it's, it's, it's shorter content. It's something I can easily uh, commit to. Although, the way I did Shining Force worked perfectly fine. I didn't upload anything until I was good and ready, until the... I can't remember if, if I, um... Started uploading, like, when it was fully done, or when I was close to done. I can't remember. But basically, when I was, uh, once I got to the point where I knew, yeah, I was gonna, gonna be done one or the other, I guess. And that worked out... That was such a good idea on, on my part. I mean, I'm sure, like, there's tons of people that do that, but, you know... I'll try and give myself credit for anything I can. But anyway, um... So I, I'm pro probably going to focus more on the, the more random things. Another thing that, speaking of random, another thing that seems to do well is randomizer stuff. People seem to really like the, uh, the bio random stuff I did. And I thought it was pretty fun. It br it, bio random is so cool, it breathes life into... The style of Resident Evil that I like. Yes, it's cornball as hell. I don't care. It's it, it, I like old Resident Evil. As janky as it is. It's fun. And I want to do more of it. Uh, other randomizers in general. People seem to like those. I wouldn't mind doing more of those, that's for sure. And, uh... Aside from that, I... I'm... Juggling a couple different ideas in my head right now. Of other things I can do. Like, m more mods and hacks and stuff is, are on the... on the docket. But aside from that, I do have one idea in particular that I'm kind of fond of. Now, it's not the first time that somebody's done this, but, uh... Basically, I want to do a, a, a trial for, uh, a, a Let's Read. Damn it. Um... And, uh, what would we, we be reading? Uh, old game magazines. Uh, Danny, my trial run would be, uh, old Nintendo Powers. 
Since I have scans of a bunch of magazines and stuff like that, I could, uh... We could check those out. Uh, the idea wouldn't be, like, to not, like, literally read the entire magazine. But, like, take, I don't know, a half hour or something like that? Maybe more, maybe less? I don't know. I'd have to see how it, how it goes. Start aiming for a, a half hour, give or take a little bit. Damn it. <sighs> aiming for about a half hour. We just kind of flip through the magazine, see what was, what was uh, interesting at the time. Maybe see if there's uh, some, some chips and... Trips? <laughs> Tips and tricks that we didn't, uh... Didn't know about until now. Like, uh, I, I was actually reading one of the old issues. It might be the first one or the second one. I can't remember which. And, um... Th there was a couple things that I didn't, uh... Realize were things. Like, I didn't know you could play, uh, ice hockey with, uh, with no goalie. I don't know if it's an actual code or, or what, but, uh... Yeah, it's just little things like that. I, I want to bring back the wonder of reading these old Nintendo powers like we did when we were kids. Or, or other magazines. I'm, I'm, I'm very, very, very open to trying out other magazines. Like, anything that, that, that shows uh, retro games, I'd, I'd be interested in. But, here, but here's what's going to make mine different from other people. Because <laughs> I, I did look online to see how many other people do it. Not just to see how common it is for people to do it, but to see if we can even get away with it. Because sometimes companies, especially like Nintendo, can be a little, uh, protective of their content, shall we say. So I wanted to make sure that, you know, it'd be okay for us to do it, so we don't get, like, strikes on the channel or whatever. I try to play nice and possible. But, it, uh, shit. It looks like it's gonna be okay, so we, we're gonna give that a try, but what's gonna make it different? from other people that do it, instead of just read the magazine. What we're gonna do is, like, every time I do one of these, it'll be, like, a week-long thing. And by that, I mean, like... Well, I would probably upload it on a Sunday, just for the sake of simplicity. So why would we need seven days? Well, the first day, we read the magazine. And the six days after that, we... Play games that are featured in the uh, the magazine itself, or we we pl like even if the game isn't heavily featured, maybe we look at the the, the, the tips and tricks section and, and say like, oh look, I'll go back to the ice hockey example. Uh, here's how to play ice hockey without goalies. Let's play ice hockey and just play without the goalies and just see how that goes. You know, try different ways of it, it's just. It's a way of highlighting things that we see in the magazine. Why did I put it in another credit? <laughs> uh, we, we would play like the, the big cover, you know, game or whatever. Like, uh, for example, uh, Nintendo Power 1 has Super Mario 2 on the cover. Guess what we're, what we're playing at some point during that week? We're playing fucking Mario 2. <laughs> you know, maybe look at the, the, the top 10 section that was always in Nintendo Power. Like, see what was the big... Actually, I think it was like a top 30. At least uh, early on, it wasn't top 30. Because they didn't have uh, the other systems to worry about, like Game Boy, Super Nintendo, etc. And maybe we, we, we go, okay, this game wasn't featured in the magazine, but this this game is number one. Let's uh, let's give this a go, or whatever. It's just just something, that just six days worth of games to uh, just kind of bring us back to... Uh, oh, shit. Oh, I fucked up. God damn it. I destroyed the other ship before... Mm. Yeah, yeah we, we, we play games associated with that with that uh, issue in particular. It, it just, every time we do one of these, it's a, it's a week-long project. And it wouldn't be every month, because I'm sure I wouldn't keep up with it. But, uh, and it's not going to be an order of like, oh, well, uh, uh, 40 years ago this day... Or 40 years ago this month, you know, it was this issue of Nintendo Power. No, I'm not, I'm not going to keep it that on track. Like, I can't remember when the first issue came out. I want to say it was... Was it Ju July 88? Is it 89? I, I can't remember. Yeah, I obviously wouldn't be doing it in the right month, especially if I decided to do like, the first one in, I don't know, late, Fred late January, early February, something like that. that that's kind of where I'm planning on... Uh, starting that, because as it stands now with my uploads, 
Uh, I'm good on uploads through January 21st, I think. That's when Shiny Force will end and uh, the rest of my uh, retro showcases will be done. At least for the ones I have uh, stockpiled. And uh, I, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. If it's even an interesting idea to you guys, I don't know. I have some other ideas I might talk about at some point. But, uh, you know, I'm, I'm kind of drawing a blank right now what else I was thinking of, other than more randomizers, more sh retro showcase content, uh, maybe less LP, because it didn't go as well as I hoped it would for something that, what I thought was beloved, like, uh, Shining Force. But then again, I also got to thinking about this, maybe it's not just me, maybe it's just, like, I mean, these are games that have been done to death a million times, there's plenty of people that played Shining Force for I didn't bring anything to the table. But, maybe if I had played the randomizer for Shine Force, maybe that would have worked. Which is something I could... Uh, which is something I could still do. But, uh, we'll, we'll take a break from Shine Force. <laughs> um, oh, what else, what else? Uh, you know, that, that might be it. That might be it. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. At least not, nothing offhand, so... I guess we'll just leave it there, then. Uh, let me know what you guys would like to see. D do you do you want more of the ra randomizer uh, mod-type content? Uh, the challenge runs, stuff like that? Uh, just weird ways of playing games instead of just uh, typical... I guess, I guess the big question is, should I just stray away from normal LP content? I guess I'll, I'll put it that way. But would you be open to, like, a, a challenge run LP, a, a modded LP, a randomized, whatever? Just something to make it different from your bog standard LP that you can get, like, anywhere else. I don't know. I like being different. It's fun. I, I, like, I like bringing something maybe not fresh to the table because there's... Even the things I want to do, people have done before. But maybe I can put my own twist on them and make them my own. Make it a little more... Interesting, more compelling, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, that's a wrap. Thank you guys for watching. Happy New Year, and here's to a successful 2024 for all of us. Later.